In an attempt to address the many challenges facing the housing sector in Nigeria, there is a need for professionals to get involved in training and retraining of players within the sector. Now, this is a position of experts at the second edition of the Unleashed for Takeover Real Estate Conference held in Lagos with the theme, Reshaping the Real Estate in Africa. It presented players within the industry the opportunity to connect and be inspired, uh, career professionals and entrepreneurs across other industries to thrive. So, um, for a really long time now, the deficit has been there, and um, as stakeholders in the industry, we're collaborating with government to ensure that you know we we continue to um, bridge this gap in the industry. And um, we have a lot of private sector developers who are working with the government to ensure that we continue to you know, do our part, our bit, to bridge this gap in the industry. Uh, education, a lot of education needs to be done to make sure that people are doing the right thing, they have the technical know-how. And like I said in my speech, if you want to build a city, you have to engage professionals. It is vital to engage professionals. So Las Rera is doing a lot to ensure that the industry is regulated uh, and we, we continue to practice you know, the best practices in the industry. We believe that the future of the real estate industry depends on the leaders that we are raising today. And this event is to raise leaders who will take over in the industry, who will build uh, uh, you know, new homes, who will help us to meet uh, the target for housing in Nigeria. Sustainable homes that will be affordable, uh, with affordable luxury that people will be able to buy and settle in and have a good family experience in such places. You know, we need to celebrate all those who even made those mistakes. We even went backdrop just because they wanted to build an industry for all of us. And so Unleash for Takeover gives us that opportunity as, you know, an industry to come together, galvanize together and celebrate each and every one of us and tell our stories so that people can understand that billionaires can be made out of this industry. Our industry is striving. If you look back pre-COVID, post-COVID, our industries have provided the highest rate of employment for people. Our industry provides a great deal of opportunity for everybody. Now on issues on uh, collapsed building, they did say that um, it is a responsibility of all uh, to ensure that um, the menace of, of collapsed building become the theme of the past. So there's a deficit of excellence in Nigeria and in Africa, and that's why um, many things are failing. Let me give you an example. We, in Lagos, for instance, in the last few weeks, even in the highbrow areas of Lagos, buildings are coming down, collapsing. It is lack of excellence that makes people do shoddy jobs. And especially in the area of real estate that is very important to the livelihood of everyone in the nation, whether commercial property or residential property, the value for excellence must be topmost priority. Definitely involves every one of us, every one of us, from the developers to the engineers, to the architects, to the engineers, to the government officials. All hands need to be on deck to ensure that you know the industry is sanitized, especially as regards building collapse. It is not one person's responsibility. Everyone needs to come together to make sure that where that that uh, um, contractor is trying to cut corners, somebody checks and somebody raises an alarm. So all hands must be on deck.